Hello, what's up? I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com. Currently, I'm in this DIY setup against the window here, but that's because I already broken down my studio because I'm leaving to Spain. Today, we'll be talking about 10 editing tips to speed up your workflow in Adobe Premiere Pro. Intro. here we are in Premiere Pro we're going to see 10 editing tips to speed up your workflow so the first editing tip is when you have a bunch of footage and you have to go through all the hours of footage that you have recorded but you can't scrub through it because you might miss something then the editing tip for you is to play your video while it's playing hold shift and press L on the keyboard the more you tap L while holding shift the faster it will forward through your footage but then you will get a good idea of all the footage that you have recorded and you can go through it faster. If on the other hand you want to play it slower in slow motion to review it, you can, while it's on pause, hold shift and press L and it will play in slow motion and again the more you tap L the faster the slow motion is going to go. Like so and then if we pause again and we play it's going to reset all these settings. Same applies for the fast forward. Once you go to a position or you pause your video and you play it again it's just going to play in real time. So you'll have to do over the procedure to speed it up again. If you want to replace something in your timeline but you already done all the editing and you don't want to change anything because it's already on the beat you can replace something in your timeline with another recording but in the exact same spot. To do that is go to the footage that you want to replace it with, click on the file in your timeline and drag it over that timeline. As you can see right now, if I would release this, it's just going to replace it. Um, well, it's going to replace the entire timeline with that video. If you hold Alt while hovering over the video that you want to replace it with, it's going to give you another kind of tool. If you release it now, it's going to be replaced as you can see right here. And now we have this different kind of video. You can go right over here to the slip tool if you want to and then you will drag it like so and then you will have a different kind of time code in your video. To duplicate a file just go to the video that you want to duplicate and then hold alt and drag it over. Click on it again, hold alt, drag it over and it will duplicate it all the time. But of course we are currently duplicating it on top of other video footage and that's going to remove that. So let's undo that for now. This is just how you duplicate videos. Let's say we have a video file right here and we just want to like shorten the audio part but we want to keep the video part the same length. What you can do is click right here is go to uh, right click unlink this video and then just uh, move this or this and that's like a lot of trouble and once you have done something and you want to move them again together you can select them and link them again and then now if we uh, move this it will move together. That's a lot of work in my opinion. Let's say they are linked, they are originally linked, but we don't want to unlink them. We just want to make the audio a little bit longer or whatever. Unselect your video file, hold alt and click on the part that you want to make longer or shorter. For example, the audio. And now you'll see that it's only selecting the audio. And now if you make this a little bit longer, you can see that we only made our audio longer. And if we click away and click back, you'll see that our video is still linked. If you right click, it's still linked because uh, currently we can select unlink. All right, so that's uh, pretty cool. Let's undo this again. Currently we have a little bit of space between this video and this video and we want to just snap them back together. You can go and select all of these files and then just drag them over here or just like uh, drag them over like so. Or what you can do is click in the middle with your mouse and then just backspace and that will paste them all together. Uh, it's called ripple delete. You can also just click right click ripple delete. Uh, that's the same thing. But let's say our time scrubber is right here. We'll do that go back and it's going to paste it all together but our time scrubber is right here. What if we want to start our editing from the point of the ripple delete we just did is you can hold alt press backspace and now your time scrubber is also going to reset to that point. Now if you're going to play it's going to play from that point on. Let's say we want to move this video file in front of this video file. What you can do is drag it over and what you will see that if we release it right now it's just going to replace that part of the video. If we hold control and release it on the other hand you will see that it will create a gap right here but it will be in front of this video file and it will just do an insert right here. We still have a gap right here and right here. Let's undo this. 
Let's click back on the video file and let's drag it over right here. If you hold control, you'll get the insert, but if you hold control and all together and you release it right here, it's also going to insert it right here, but it's not going to leave a gap right here. Now we can just hit it right here and backspace and there we go. All right, so right here we have a video file that we want to apply some transitions to. Let's zoom in here. What you can do is go to effects and presets, go to video transitions, dissolve, and then drag over the cross dissolve right here, for example, and also apply it to the end. And maybe if we want like another clip right here, you can delete this part right here and just apply it to the clips themselves. And now we have a transition from clip to clip. Okay, so this is how you apply transitions, but it's a little bit of work. So let's delete these transitions. What you'll see in your transitions is one of your transitions, usually the cross dissolve is the default one, will have a blue border around it. If you want a different one, you can just click on a different transition, right click, set selected as default transition, and that will make that frame around that transition. I like the cross dissolve, so I'll just select that again. And now what you can do is click on your video file and then just hold control and press D on the keyboard. And that's going to apply the default transition to that clip. Let's say we select both of these clips, do it again. We'll apply it right here and right here. If we undo this, we can also apply it only to the end by selecting the end, control D. And if you want it just to select these two clips, we can select it right here, control D. And yeah, that's basically the same thing. For audio, we have the same thing. Let's go into the audio transitions, crossfade and the power, constant power is currently our default transition. Right here, if we go to the beginning, holding control D only affects the video. The reason why is the default audio, you can apply that while holding shift and pressing D on the keyboard. And now you'll have that default transition applied to the audio. Same goes for this, shift D and there we have it. We have all the transitions applied to your video and your audio. All right, so let's say you catch yourself over and over again doing exactly the same thing. For example, for my tutorials, I always do the same kind of editing for my audio. So what I've done is I created presets right here. And as you can see, I have a bunch of presets that I use very often. Right here, I have an adjustment layer and I created a color grade. So right here without the color grade, with the color grade. Let's right click and you will have the option to save your preset. Then just rename it to Summer Vibe, for example, and then just uh, maybe add a description, Lumetri Color Effects. That's the only effect applied to it. You can also add more uh, effects to it. Currently, it's only Lumetri Color, but if you select more effects holding Control, you can just right click, save the preset, and it's going to save all the same effects under the same preset. So click OK once you have done that, and now you'll see Summer Vibe right here. Let's say we didn't apply the Lumetri color, let's delete it. We apply the Summer Vibe right here. You'll see that it's going to apply that same effect. All right, so these were the 10 editing tips to speed up your workflow in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And then I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.